Good morning, folks. A lot of you likely have this map already, but if not, it's new up on Solar IMG, and I didn't have it before. I've given the link below so that you can check the rad levels whenever you want. Well, you know what these are. L waves, ringing helioplots across the globe, emanating from a large earthquake measuring 6.7 magnitude that struck Indonesia last night. Given the great Indonesian tectonic breakup in progress, every big one here is significant. We also had some moderate quake activity in the Galapagos in South America. Praparoon here, headed northeast in the western Pacific, nearly perfectly developed cell seen here on enhanced infrared. This low pressure system hit tropical storm status briefly, expected to go west, but the vapor loop kind of shows it moving the other way. Here are the forecast tracks for the other lows flanking the Americas. Australians are getting that cold way worse than I could have anticipated. This is highly unseasonable and some livestock is being lost. Mainland USA has a different issue here. If it appears the wind is misbehaving, remember the pressure patterns we showed you yesterday and check out the interactions set in the pressure today in what is the current Torcon watch zone. We had the first gamma burst in 10 days yesterday, streamed in from constellation Hercules. Yellow was the solar wind speed, you can see it rising back up. Looking at three days ago, that tiny dark hole north of the big hole turning to the right on the south was a maybe on whether she'd catch us with her stream and that's clearly what's happened with the uptick in speed. It was a small hole, didn't cause much of any induction, in fact this may be repair phase. The KP index never got above 4. Looking up here, the large region on the right is beta gamma, potential for big flares, but we haven't seen a thing since it crested the limb. And the same is true for this once great spot on the south. Took a chill pill and turned to stare right at us. In fact, considering how many eruptions get pounded off the backside and even just behind the limb, it is a bit peculiar that earth-facing sunspots seem to be less intense, and I'm not the only one who's noticed this. Concluding with a more practical analysis, that massive dark corona hole will give us a shot here in a day or two. Lots of potential on the sun, but no fireworks. Eyes open with no fear. It's well past 6 a.m. this morning. Sorry I'm late, folks. That's the news. Be safe, everyone.